Physical culture is a health and strength training movement that originated during the 19th century in Germany, England, and the United States. Topic: <inaudible> Origins. The physical culture movement in the United States of the 19th century owed its origins to several cultural trends. In the United States, German immigrants after 1848 introduced a physical culture system based on gymnastics that became popular especially in colleges. Many local Turner clubs introduced physical education P in the form of German gymnastics into American colleges and public schools. The perception of Turner as non-American prevented the German system from becoming the dominating form. They were especially important mainly in the cities with a large German-American population, but their influence slowly spread. By the late 19th century, reformers worried that sedentary white-collar workers were suffering from various diseases of affluence that were partially attributed to their increasingly sedentary lifestyles. In consequence, numerous exercise systems were developed, typically drawing from a range of traditional folk games, dances and sports, military training and medical calisthenics. Physical culture programs were promoted through the education system, particularly at military academies, as well as via public and private gymnasiums. Industry began the production of various items of exercise-oriented sports equipment. During the early and mid-19th century, these printed works and items of apparatus generally addressed exercise as a form of remedial physical therapy. Certain items of equipment and types of exercise were common to several different physical culture systems, including exercises with Indian clubs, medicine balls, wooden or iron wands and dumbbells. Combat sports such as fencing, boxing, servate and wrestling were also widely practiced in physical culture schools, and were touted as forms of physical culture in their own right. The muscular Christianity movement of the late 19th century advocated a fusion of energetic Christian activism and rigorous physical culture training. The Battle of the Systems As physical culture became increasingly popular and profitable, there arose intense national and then international competition amongst the founders and or promoters of various systems. This rivalry became informally known as the Battle of the Systems. Both public gyms and educational institutions tended to take an eclectic approach, whereas private physical culture clubs and organizations often promoted particular exercise systems according to nationalistic loyalties. The German Turnverein promoted a system of what became known as heavy gymnastics, meaning strenuous exercises performed with the use of elaborate equipment such as pommel horses, parallel bars, and climbing structures. The Turnverein philosophy combined physical training with intellectual pursuits and with a strong emphasis upon German culture. Numerous events in modern competitive gymnastics originated in, or were popularized by the Turnverein system. The Czech Sokol physical culture movement was largely inspired by the Turnverein. By contrast with the German and Czech systems, the Swedish system founded by Per Henrik Ling promoted light gymnastics, employing little, if any apparatus and focusing on calisthenics, breathing and stretching exercises as well as massage. At the turn of the 20th century, bodybuilder and showman Eugen Sandoz's system, based upon weightlifting, enjoyed considerable international popularity, while Edmund Desbonnet and George Hebert popularized their own systems within France and French-speaking countries. Bernard McFadden's system became especially popular within the United States, via the promotion carried out through his publishing empire. Other notable advocates of physical culture include Jorgen Peter Muller and Mary Baggett Stack. Physical culture 
fizzy in Australia. A physical culture practice for women, informally known as fizzy, pronounced fizzy, developed in Australia in the 19th century and continues to this day. It combines elements of march, rhythmic gymnastics and dance, with a focus on good posture and is aimed at young girls and women, from preschool age to seniors. The original fizzy school was the medical gymnasium Bielka Peterson Brothers, founded in Hobart in 1892 by Hans Christian Bielka Peterson. It has been in continuous operation since that time, becoming the Bielka Peterson School of Physical Culture Limited in 2011. Other leading historical schools include the Edith Parsons School of Physical Culture, founded in Sydney in 1961, and the Burns Association of Physical Culture, founded in Sydney in 1968, both still in operation. Competitions are held between local clubs with an annual championship. Topic. Contemporary interest in 19th century physical culture Considerable academic research into 19th century physical culture has been undertaken since the 1980s, and numerous articles, theses, and books have been produced addressing the topic from various perspectives. A number of contemporary strength and health training programs are based directly upon, or draw inspiration from, various physical culture systems. The historic Hegeler Karras Mansion in La Salle, Illinois features a basement gymnasium that is believed to be a uniquely preserved example of a late 19th century Turnverein physical culture training facility. Modern collections of antique physical culture apparatus include those of the Joe and Betty Wider Museum of Physical Culture, part of the H.J. Lutcher Stark Center for Physical Culture and Sports at the University of Texas at Austin and the Gym Museum Collection at the Forteza Fitness and Martial Arts Studio in Ravenswood, Chicago. Topic. See also. Fitness culture. Gymnastics. Modern yoga, based on a combination of physical culture and hatha yoga Pilates <laughs> <laughs>